Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Way of Fishing. Today is the day of epic fails. The list of what I've left at home just keeps growing. Um, I've got a loner pod in a kayak that I got from, oh, I'm out here with, uh, this is my, my brother Keith, and there's Fishing Kid, and actually Fishtails RVA is over there in his boat. But I got a loner pod. I left that case, the housing, for both of my GoPro 5s at home. I left the junk drawer for the kayak at home. Luckily, I have the kayak and the paddle. You know, we can we can make something work with that, but woo, let's get on the water. Fishtails RVA, everybody, look at this shad popping. What's, What's up, up, Ron? People? How you doing? Good. What, um, which GoPro do you have? Uh, it's a Hero 8. I'm going to throw this topwater rage toad. Got him. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's on it. What? Missed that fish. I knew when I said, oh my gosh, I mean, I knew I had missed him off the break. He was never there. I'm going to stop. I'm going to reassess what I'm doing. So right now I've thrown a 3 8 ounce flipping jig. I've thrown a spinnerbait. I've thrown a head and torpedo. And I've thrown a rage toad. I've gotten two bites on a rage toad. And that's it. Um, I'm watching fish activity. Um, I think I need to go to more of a shad style approach. So I'm going to see what I've got back here in my bag of tricks. I'm going to retie some rods. And uh, this is how it goes. Switch to. Um, I still have the jig, the spinnerbait, and the top water on um, there in the crate right now. And I just put these other four rods in front of me, and this is what I'm going to try to focus on. So on this rod, I put a small Berkeley Pitbull square bill. Um, runs to three and a half feet. Threw that a couple times, already got bottom. Um, even with the, you know, it's on a 14-pound test, so it shouldn't really be going that deep. On this rod... Uh, this is a Curado with 30 pound braid. I put a paddle tail fluke with a belly weighted hook. Uh, that's a medium heavy 7 foot uh, 13 fishing. Uh, let's go to this one. Uh, this is a 14 pound test on this Sitica 7 2 to 1 with a chatterbait on a medium action. Well, this is a worm and jig rod, so uh, it's a medium extra fast. And then I did go into the crate and pull out a pink worm. So um, we're going to try a completely different approach. And we're going to see if any of this pans out. God, don't! I can't hook these fish, man. God damn it! <sighs> They're shaking it at the boat. No! <sighs> Get in the boat! Got one in the boat! Finally! Got a fish in the boat. Man.
Not a monster, but at least it broke that streak. Great day. A fish did what? Well, he missed the fish. Then he jumped out of the water in front of Keith right just to see the if it was warm. Or like, oh, I jumped off the wrong line. <laughs> on a spinnerbait? Yeah. They like this at the boat, man. <laughs> man, at least you had to bite, Caleb. Took me about. Took me like eight fish to get a fish in the boat. Yeah, I thought something had fallen out the boat. Oh, snap. Yeah, but he ate it when I cast it. Oh, oh dude, I'm sorry, man. I saw it soon as it hit the water. Hook all the way through the bait. What is going on, man? All right, guys, so let's let's talk about this real quick. So I switched over to a black and blue swim bait just to try a different body style out. And because I've been losing so many fish, um, you have to try things. You've got to try to dial it in. You have to try something different than what you have been trying when you are not getting the results you want. So I specifically backed the drag off some thinking maybe I'm ripping my hooks out. Well, I just had a fish and I could not, the drag was too loose for me to like put line on him. I couldn't catch up to that fish. Um, so I had to crank the drag more while I was fighting him. And, but it basically just had too much slack and the fish got off. So, um, live and learn. I'm losing every fish that bites me today. I'm getting bit. I mean, that's something, but I'm losing everything. And that bait is destroyed. I didn't even catch the fish and I can't even use the bait anymore. Man, just going through baits right, right now like crazy. Yeah. Man, I didn't want to get up on this tree. I wanted to, oh Lord have mercy. Oh, five pounder. In my hand, bro. Whew. Oh, yo. Nice. What is? How big you think it is? I don't think. I don't know if it's gonna go five. I don't. Did I bring a scale? I might have brought a scale. I'm not gonna worry about the scale. Let's let her go. Goodbye, big girl. That was not a little fish. If I had to guess, I'd say that wasn't even a bass. Nope. Toothy critter. <sighs> fish came up and gobbled my tail off. It is so humid, I cannot wear my coasters right now. I literally can't see through them. Literally can't see out of my glasses. They are that fogged up. This is my last black and blue gambler.
stinksters. No doubt that was the same exact fish that I had just missed a second ago. Nice one. Come here. Stop all that extra. Now I'm getting perfect hook sets. Medium, little medium size. There's a fish back under there blowing up on bait. He probably won't be there by the time I get to a place where I'll have an angle on him. Um, but he's crushing some bait back there. Hmm. I mean, I get an angle on that fish ever. There's a big old tree right here, and then a lay down, two lay downs coming around the backside of it. Hmm. You don't see this? Look at this. Well, that never works out. When I was a kid, we used to call that Bill dancing. You Bill dance the fish. Because all in his show, he would always look, there's a fish right there. And throw and catch it every time. So that's what we called it. We called it Bill dancing. That could be the same fish. He's just over there moving around, chasing bait. You've been caught before. Yep. R.I.P. swim bait. Blowing the nose out. Well, that was my last black and blue gambler. This is time to tear up all the Kitex. I know. To be honest, I don't really want to catch him on that swim bait anymore. Wow. What was that? Tree fell. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I had to fish that on the way back. Huh? Yeah. Word. Yeah. Keep them tight, buddy. Keep them tight. Woo! Come on, man. I can't land it. Slide your hand up the left hand up the rod higher. Then lift them up with the rod. There you go. Three pounder. Yeah. Watch your rod for me. I didn't think I was going to catch a fish at all. I threw it out in the open. What luck I had. Uh huh.
Let's call it three, two fourteen. Uh -huh. Hold on, don't, don't, don't let him back in. Ooh, that fish hit like a truck, man. Kate. In the open. Fishing kids in the creek screaming that he got a bass. I think he went down there too. There's some monster brim in the creek that comes out of this lake. And uh, he's been fishing for those off and on all day. I think he just hooked a bass in the process. So oh my goodness. Johnny on the spot as soon as I cast it. Gotcha. Well, I almost don't even want to pull out another pack of worms. I don't even know if I got one in there. It's just carnage in the bottom of the kayak right now. We have a guest that's gonna do the outro today. So we've been on the water all day and I'm tired. So I'm actually gonna hand it over to Fishtails RVA to do the outro for Way of Fishing. <laughs> all right, man. Listen, everybody caught awesome fish today. Everybody used a different lure, paddle tail swim baits, chatter baits, spinner baits. Anybody use a crank bait? I tried, didn't work. Man, so many different lures. The fish were cooperating, bass of all sizes, from little dinks to what, almost six pounds? Guys, really appreciate you watching today. <laughs> and until next time, way of fishing, Fishtails RVA, Keith, and Fishing Kid, out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, way of fishing. Get out there, fish your way, and subscribe to my boy, because he's pretty cool. <laughs>